Toyota is getting ready to reveal a game-changing solid-state battery electric vehicle. According to its phenomenal data, it has a range of 500 miles and can fully recharge in just 10 minutes. According to the Japanese financial newspaper Nikkei, the Japanese automaker Toyota is planning to introduce a groundbreaking solid-state battery as early as next year. Future electric vehicles might be able to go more than 500 miles on a single charge and recharge fully in about 10 minutes thanks to such technology. If this technology is successful, it will be far superior to its rivals. And so stay tuned as we take a look at this revolutionary battery. The holy grail of battery technology for electric cars is said to be solid-state batteries. As opposed to conventional lithium-ion batteries, they are lighter, more durable, and more stable. The electric car market may experience a paradigm shift as a result of Toyota's active involvement in the fierce rivalry for solid-state batteries. The future of electric automobiles may change dramatically if Toyota is successful in mass producing a solid-state battery that lives up to the expectations. When will these revolutionary batteries be used in electric vehicles? According to Nikkei, Toyota is planning to launch a prototype next year, possibly becoming the first automaker to display a vehicle powered by a solid-state battery. If everything goes according to plan, solid-state batteries in electric cars could be seen as early as 2024. But here's the catch, Toyota's solid-state battery won't be for its fully electric vehicles, the automaker wants to slap the game-changing battery into a hybrid vehicle. And so, what's the exact plan? Let's find out. Solid-state batteries are the ultimate objective of battery technologies, and Toyota is only one of several automakers and other businesses vying for them. We'll see such a battery from the manufacturer by 2024, according to comments made by Gil Pratt, Toyota's chief scientist and the chairman of the Toyota Research Institute. Toyota, however, does not intend to use the battery to manufacture an EV. However, Pratt said in a report published on Thursday that it would pack the solid-state battery into a hybrid car. The combination of an internal combustion engine and a solid-state battery is real. Although it may seem strange, Pratt said there is good logic behind it. Lithium-ion batteries aren't even close to being priced on par with internal combustion engines, let alone solid-state batteries. In order to keep the price of a production car low while yet achieving the benefits of such a battery, hybrid technology is being combined with it. Likewise Toyota will learn a lot from using solid-state technology in a hybrid before it uses batteries in fully electric vehicles. The batteries operate differently from lithium-ion batteries in terms of how they charge and discharge, according to Pratt. Prior to investing too much in a solid-state battery-powered EV, hybrids will offer the automaker the ideal test for the technology. Toyota as a company has already stated that it wants to investigate this battery type with a hybrid application first. More specifically, it stated that, one of the reasons Toyota is starting with HEVs is because it wants to introduce solid-state batteries to the market as soon as possible, gain customer feedback, and continue to evolve them. We must not lose sight of the fact that, in the broad scope of things, this is a very ambitious timetable for the technology. Engineers have been unable to produce solid-state batteries at a sufficient scale or at a reasonable cost for many years. Toyota might be prepared to change that by the middle of this decade, though. For now, while waiting for this cutting-edge battery, it's worth checking everything we need to know about hybrid technology. The hybrid car's history. Inquiries for hybrid auto insurance have increased by 243% in the previous seven years, yet this type of vehicle has been around for more than a century despite the recent explosion in popularity of hybrid vehicles. Dr. Ferdinand Porsche created the first hybrid automobile in 1898 by fusing an engine for a prototype coach with both an electric and a gasoline component. The first hybrid engine concept for a car was accidentally developed by Dr. Porsche when he devised this coach using petrol to power four electric motors, one for each wheel. However, Henry Ford began mass producing his renowned fuel-powered cars at the same time as hybrid cars were being developed at the turn of the 20th century. These could be purchased for much less money than the hybrid model, which was quickly disregarded. Up until the 1990s, hybrid vehicles were relegated to the background of the automotive industry before making a comeback. In 1997, Toyota became the first to break the market and released the Toyota Prius to the general public. The Honda Insight was introduced two years later in America and Japan, and it quickly followed this. Both designs had an electric motor that was driven by a gasoline engine enabling the car to run on two different power sources. As more and more people opt to drive environmentally friendly cars, 
the market for hybrid cars has grown to be a multi-billion dollar business. Different types of hybrid cars. Hybrid vehicles, while theoretically capable of astounding fuel efficiency and minimal CO2 emissions, actually only achieve zero emissions for short trips, switching to their less efficient combustion engines for longer ones. Due to their three distinct categories, hybrids are a little more complicated. Mild hybrid, self-charging hybrid, plug-in hybrid, PHEV. What distinguishes a gasoline vehicle from a hybrid vehicle? It might come as a surprise to you to hear that hybrid vehicles and SUVs employ internal combustion engines, much like conventional gasoline vehicles. These engines can be filled at a gas station near you. Similar to a gas vehicle, a hybrid car's combustion engine operates in the same way. The combustion chamber of the engine receives fuel injection before fuel and air are mixed there. After that, the spark plug ignites the gasoline and air mixture, giving the car its final burst of power. The primary difference between a hybrid automobile and an SUV is that in addition to an internal combustion engine, these cars and trucks also feature an electric motor and a battery as a power source. By utilizing a combination of petrol and electric power while you're driving, hybrid technology makes the vehicle's systems more efficient. You can therefore use a lot less fuel and save money on gas overall depending on what mode you're in. What is the difference between hybrid and plug-in hybrid? Toyota offers a variety of hybrid vehicles, including hybrid electric vehicles, HEV, and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, PHEV, which are the most popular. PHEVs, like the Toyota RAV4 Prime, use less fuel since grid energy is used instead of gasoline, making them significantly more environmentally friendly. However, Toyota's lineup also includes a variety of hybrid vehicles that can be driven without a plug, including many different fuel-efficient cars and SUVs. Toyota hybrid vehicles are self-charging. The fact that a hybrid car's battery can be charged without a plug-in may surprise you. Regenerative braking is a technique that uses energy recovered from braking to refuel the electric battery in a hybrid car. Using regenerative braking, the most recent Toyota Venza, for instance, charges its battery while driving. PHEVs, such as the Toyota RAV4 Prime and Toyota Prius Prime, can also be charged by plugging them into a 120-volt household outlet. The hybrid vehicle mode on PHEVs works similarly to that on normal hybrids, HEVs, combining the power of the gasoline engine with the hybrid battery. How is a hybrid car battery charged? Regenerative braking is used to recharge the batteries in hybrid cars. More specifically, the battery pack receives the energy that the revolving wheels produce during braking. Hybrid technology converts some of the extra energy that the car produces when it brakes into electricity, which is then stored in the battery. Regenerative braking functions best in stop and go traffic, such as during rush hour on the highway or in a zone with sluggish traffic when parents are dropping off children in a Highlander hybrid or the brand new Sienna hybrid. When you brake frequently, more energy is produced on a regular basis which means the electric battery will have enough energy to recharge. Utilizing the electric motor allows you to use less fuel, which lowers emissions and increases gas savings. The advantages of hybrid vehicles and SUVs. In order to provide better fuel efficiency, hybrid vehicles combine the advantages of gas engines and electric motors. Hybrid batteries may self-recharge without being plugged in by using techniques like regenerative braking. And sir, what do you think? Are you excited about Toyota's solid-state batteries packed in a hybrid vehicle? Let us know in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.